Hey guys, what's happening? I am in a new city, a new town. I got in here pretty late last night, but I was going to give you a quick run around here and uh, kind of show you a couple of things because it took me half a day to figure this one out. So let's cross the road here. So for those that don't know, that is actually one of the two Budapest main railway stations. There's some real nice cars coming down that are stopping for me. So a little earlier on today, because we're, we're going to be in uh, Budapest for a probably like three, three more days, three, maybe four more days. And then we're going down to Bucharest in, uh, in Romania. So I had to get some transportation and I've got to tell you, right there is one of the nicest patios for a fast food joint that I've seen in a long time. So anyway, I had to come down here to get a international train ticket. And I was looking everywhere for these things. And what I'll do is I'll show you where I came from because it was kind of a little confusing. So this basically is where you would typically come in on all of the trains. And uh, we actually came in from, I think it was uh, kind of like the Prague direction. But I came back down here because I had to get the ticket to um, Bucharest. And it says information and tickets, kind of this way. So I came wandering all the way back along here. And uh, so you followed the signs that were up there, like the information thing came through here, like so. And then in here where they're doing a lot of construction. And of course the information booth was closed. And then you see all of these, so these were, they had lines going all out the back here we playing video games back there, so they have one open now, but there was like a big ass line. And I didn't see any international, the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, it's right up here somewhere, maybe over there, down there, there it is, where it says inland. Um, that means uh, like domestic, kind of makes sense, yeah. So I wound up waiting in line, only to be told that I have to go to the international thing, which is actually that way. And I didn't know that, so we had to come around here. And I'll show you this. Kind of wandered over here late yesterday, and there's a ton of people out here always kind of drinking and uh, hanging out here. They all hang out on the grass down here in the evening. I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Yep. So anyway, came around here. And then over here, kind of came around this, this way. Because if you go over here, that's the domestic in there. And then came around here. So if you're ever at this railway station, like I said, typically coming in from uh, the Czech Republic direction, and it is the Narugati um, Budapest railway station. So anyway, so here we came. I had to come down here for the international, and this is where the left luggage is, just in case you need that. But uh, there's nobody here now. But the funny thing was, if I can put that there, there's actually some people asleep here. Sorry. <laughs> Did I wake you up? <laughs> no, I'll be quick. So basically came down here and then get all the way down here and then it's like this was open and there's a lady in no line and so then she tells me to get a ticket. So you have to come all the way over here and get a ticket and it's not working right now. So then you get the ticket and I'm, I'm the only person around. So I get the ticket and she hits the buzzer and I go straight back to her and then she is um, 
dealing with me, which seemed kind of silly because it was, like I said, I was the only, only, only person there. So right now there's a couple of guys sleeping here. I think they might have missed their train or something. So, but uh, anyway, so that is where you will find the international thing, international tickets hidden at the back end of the railway station along with the left luggage. So if you find the left luggage, you'll find the international and it will save you from standing in line for one hell of a long time trying to uh, figure out where you're supposed to go and where you're not supposed to go. So, but anyway, the reason I was getting the ticket there was because uh, I was looking, we've got to get down to Bucharest uh, to get down into Romania and um, the uh, had to get down to Bucharest to because we're going down to Romania and there's kind of like three options and one is the train one is a cheap flight and one is a bus um, the cheapest flight we got we could get was about a hundred dollars but um, it was like four o'clock in the morning. It's gonna leave at four o'clock in the morning, so I didn't wanna do that. Uh, the second option is a bus, which you can get for about 50 bucks um, to go down to um, Bucharest. Uh, I did not wanna get that because the, I didn't wanna, you know, it's, I don't know. I just didn't wanna sit on a bus for uh, like 16 hours because it's a 16 hour ride down to Bucharest. So I opted for the train, which actually costs more. It doesn't go from this railway station, it goes for, to the, another railway station on the other side of town, but you can buy the tickets here. And um, so I opted for that. It was actually pretty expensive. It was like $125 per person. So there's the two of us, myself and mystery woman, but it was for a, like a two person cabin. So we, uh, pretty much have the cabin to ourselves and um, then we'll be able to do some work because again it's a 16 hour train ride um, and we'll get in there like you know middle of the afternoon so we'll be able to do a, a bunch of work as we go through so and sleep lying down which is the main thing because I sure as hell don't like a bus Ooh, there we go I'll get that around there so that's basically it, that's where you normally come in. So when I first came in, needed to get across town, had no clue where I was going. If you come out here, and then right out on the main road here, with some people, Oop, sorry. And then if you go down here, To the underground area, swing a left a little, and right here on the right is the ticket booths for the um, for the subway for the underground. But you can also get the passes. There's a series of passes you can get, like 24 hours and. 48 hours and 72 hours. These guys are trying to figure it out. But what I did was I came right here where they have some nice people working um, on the weekdays till 9.30 p.m. from 5.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. and 6 to 9.30 p.m. on the weekends and it was a heck of a lot easier. So, hey. But uh, pretty much everything you need is under here. So what I'm going to do now, we will cut through here. Of course, I don't want to promote the fast food and stuff. So this is always a, an interesting place. So I came down here to the spa late last night and there's all these people drunk over here on the thing. Gyros and stuff. These people like do funky stuff. So then, anyway, go down here. <laughs> Bunch of drunks, like, I can't tell if they're like telling me to get lost or 
or waving at me. Uh oh. So. So again, this is the main railway station over there. They have all this kind of funky construction going on around here. But I tell you, the last time I came in here, it's probably like uh, 20, 25 years ago was the last time I came in here. And I, I remember coming out of the out of the railway station over here. And it was dark and dismal. There was no lights up here or anything. It was like everything was, all of the buildings like here, the sides here and here, and the old buildings here. You see this one's yellow. Last time I came in, it was just uh, kind of derelict looking and uh, uh, covered in uh, like the soot and the smog from all the years and years and years of pollution. So no, no neon lights were there before. So. A little, uh, a little backstory on the last time I was here, like I said, which was one hell of a long time ago. So I'm going to go down this way here. Yeah, I have no clue. I'm hoping it gets to where I want to get to. So... I'm not sure what's down there. Ooh. That's it, I tell you. Can you see that? Where it's in English. Someone was telling me the other day uh, that uh, it's kind of like at the t 100 years ago at the turn of the century in places like the Czech Republic, Hungary, etc. Um, if you wanted to be chic or if you wanted to be kind of like impress people, then you would do all of your commercial signs in with, uh, you know, French on it. Because apparently uh, French was the French was the language of the kind of let's try and get that down a bit. <laughs> there we go. French was apparently the language of the aristocrats, and you used French to kind of impress your impress your clients. But nowadays, apparently, you use English. Hence the reason why a lot of the advertisements that you'll see, and I'll see if we see any more in a minute. A lot of the advertisements you see all around will actually have a lot of English on a lot of English on it. So let's see. I think I'm going the right direction. Let's see. <laughs> so again, this area around here, a number of years back, was pretty um, pretty run down and stuff. But there's lots of. Uh, businesses around here now and there's one that I'm going to see if it's open right now um whew, stinks of course they all stick the garbage out in the trash cans but uh whew, some kind of hostel around here somewhere I think it was kind of over that direction so it's open to my thing that's wrong there we go that's better um there it is it's Podma tea and coffee. That's kind of interesting. Like all this medieval stuff in there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> so this is the, I guess it says Lancelot. There must be some kind of medieval place. Guy with a, so this is the place I was looking at earlier on. It's called Podma Cafe and it's some kind of tea place. And I'll probably come back down here tomorrow. Hey, how's it going? You okay? <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Name? Good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some kind of funky place in there. And let's see if I can cut in front of these guys. Excuse me. So the place I'm trying to check out is, I think, in this direction and uh, let's see man I'm getting out of breath running down here it's always people smoking and uh, apparently Hungary passed a, a regulation recently um, whereby you can no longer smoke in public places so everybody's out in the streets kind of like away from the buildings that kind of thing of course, the one thing that didn't change is the uh, 
consumption of alcohol on in public uh, places. You kind of get used to that in the US with uh, just trying to cut through here. Let's see if we make it. Um, kind of get used to that in the US where you're not allowed to drink in public places. In fact, when I was on the train coming down here from the uh, Czech Republic, it was probably about a three hour, three hour ride from where I was. And um, the guy in a seat uh, opposite had, he, he consumed like about, there must be a liter size and there's three of those damn things in the space of three hours. So uh, let's see if the car is coming. And nice people stop in. Of course, they're not uh, kind of used to the US where you want to wait for them to stop. Here they actually stop for you. And the guy was just kind of waving his hand going, why the fricks didn't you get out the way? So anyway, the place I was going to show you is right over here on the corner. You gotta watch for the crazy bicyclists. Not as bad as Holland. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you right now because it looks a little dark. But right here on the corner is a it's called the I don't know if you can see that, it's called the Barbershop Budapest. Uh, founded by the um, uh, founded by a family that's like a I believe it was like three generations if I remember correctly uh, read correctly three generations of barbers so the third generation um, came back and opened all these shops but what is really cool and can you see it probably see of course this says use the other door to get in but way back there in the corner way back See if we can go around the side here. Can we see it in the side here? You might be able to see some of it here. Dun dun dun. Can you see what that says? Bam, it says um, museum, barber museum. So they actually have created a, uh, they've created a museum just for barbering and uh, kind of uh, stuff. So I'm actually, I'm gonna go down there and check it out tomorrow and see, see what's in there because it's kind of like the first shop slash museum I've seen in all of these travels. So we'll go down and check it out tomorrow and see what they have in there and see if they let us in there to film. So in the meantime, have fun. I'm gonna quit this now while the going is good and I will give you guys um, actually put some put some questions down you know give, give the videos a like and uh, do some other stuff go to my patreon kind of page and subscribe or rather um, kind of uh, I don't know what you call it when you say subscribe or become a patreon there we go and uh, all that good stuff and uh, we've filmed one video already I'll keep that one secret until we release it um, but it's just trying to find some time while we're traveling to kind of put it together and edit it. So that will be coming relatively soon, but we've got a lot of work we've got going on, a lot of filming we're gonna be doing around town here. So anyway, have fun there and have fun, bye.